Hey, hello there and welcome to the live coverage from Dice Tower Con 2018. I'm going to be your host throughout this week, uh, Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise. But we'll get back to that in just a second because I also want to introduce my co-host, Marty Cannell from Rolling Dice and Taking Names. Chaz, I am so excited to be here oh. for the, this is what the... Seventh, eighth, seventh. It's well, okay. Wait, it's they. They used to number them. There was yeah. Dice Tower three, right. four. Yeah. Uh, this may so be the two thousand eighteenth. The two thousand eighteenth Dice Let's Tower Con. Con. Amazing. Wow. That's that's one of the longest running cons I think ever. It's good. It's got to be. It's got to be at that. I mean, Gen Con has only been well, you know, uh, 20, 50 years. Fifty. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One up. Yeah. Uh huh. So. That's what, hopefully, you will be able to expect this week as we are kicking off this very, very special Dice Tower Con extravaganza. As you may notice, here on the Dice Tower channel, at the Dice Tower convention, your hosts are not the typical Dice Tower hosts. There's no Tom, there's no Sam, there's no Z, and if you're still here uh, at this point, <laughs> that's because, well, this being Dice Tower convention, uh, the Dice Tower guys themselves actually are enjoying their convention, which is going on right behind us here. So we decided uh, to help give them the week off. So wait a minute. So basically they said, we want to enjoy ourselves. So what goofballs can we get to go and spend four days sitting there, sitting at a table, talking to people on YouTube and Twitch? Yeah, funny how it works that way, huh? I guess that would be us. That would, yes. But we're going to have fun. Yes. We're just going to have a different type of fun. That's right. Because what we're going to do, and actually, you know what? Before we, uh, before, we get, before we get into anything. Before. I think we should set expectations for what to see this coming week. But okay. before we even get to that, oh, okay. I want to just, real quick, after, uh, before we go going, I want to give a very special shout out to one viewer out there who I, I hope is watching. Um, I just hope that you're having a really good week and that you are no longer on fire. So anyway, this week, yes, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing kind of the uh, typical live stream Dice Tower coverage. We're going to be talking to publishers, mm -hmm. talking to some designers, looking at some games and talking about lots of games. Uh, but we're also... Uh, we're going to try and keep things um, interactive with the audience and interesting. We have actually some games pl um, planned to play with some of the guests and with each other and stuff. We're going to be doing and with the audience. So we're going to hopefully be doing some extra activities in addition to talking about games and just what, what's out and what's new at the convention. Right. And just kind of the uh, the schedule layout. It's not going to be a continuous stream over the next four days. That's true. Uh, there will be breaks and we'll be announcing what's be going to be going on uh, throughout the day. For example, here we're going to have going to go until, I don't know, about 1 o'clock, just kind of talking with each other, mm -hmm. having some special guests on, and then we're going to start bringing publishers in. Starting at uh, 1.30, we're going to have Yellow Games come in and uh -huh. join us. Mm -hmm. We're going to take another break, then at 3 o'clock, Druid Games is going to join us. Absolutely. And then right. we're going to wrap up the day, uh, every day from 4 to 5, with uh, uh, us just hanging out and talking about what we've seen so far, or our special guests. Yeah, so recapping everything and doing something neat. Yep. So we're kind of, yeah, the stream is going to be broken up into like little one-hour chunks or so throughout the day, each day through Saturday. And we want you guys to be a part of that. Uh, I believe up on the little corner of your screen, uh, you should nice. see. Yeah, ta -da. Right there. Yeah. Oh, that's your nose. <laughs> no, that's not where we keep the hashtag. The hashtag <laughs> is kept in the upper corner of the screen right there. There's a hashtag that we want you to use. It took us longer than it should have to come up with the hashtag to use yeah. for, for this week. <laughs> We've been spending a lot of months prepping for this, but I think the most time is what hashtag right. should we use for people to post on Twitter to ask us this, ask this questions? And you think that would be an easy task. No, we managed but to But there's a control. trash can full of suggestions <laughs> nope. we had for the hashtag. Nope. That yep. was wrong. Too we, long, too short, doesn't make sense. Yes. And so, yeah, finally we, we settled on the anticlimactic DTCQA <laughs> because what we want from you guys viewing is we want you to use Twitter to tweet out tweets that contain the hashtag DT, DTCQA. See, see, we Maybe see. we should pull out one of those out of the trash <laughs> <Yeah>. can. <laughs> and we want to know your questions, your thoughts, your responses to what you've seen. And um, everything else that's going on in that convention. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, not respond to the things, the hashtags in real time. We're going to collect those in the downtime between segments throughout the day. And especially today, we are going to wrap up uh, the day at the end uh, in the 4.30 slot 
by responding to questions or statements or anything else that you tweet out with that hashtag. So start sending out your tweets and we'll start collecting them and hopefully we'll feature yours at the end of the day after we've collected them all in another big trash can. <laughs> Duh. That's right. And isn't it cool that we're on like YouTube and Twitch? All the cool kids are on Twitch. Oh yeah, I know. That's so awesome. When they said that we're on Twitch, I, I almost thought, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I got to give someone my lunch money because I'm just not cool enough for Twitch. I mean, is that where they had the little uh, thing where you can subscribe and they're like, as people watching, it's like, thank you, such and such. I wonder if we're making any money for Dice Tower right now. Again, wonderful. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, I would probably say that the amount of money that we're bringing in through the Twitch um, contributions or whatever probably uh, is not as high as one would hope. The one who asked us to be here would hope. And that, that brings me to the other thing that we should discuss, okay. is setting expectations. Okay, so week. we got four days of live streaming going on, so we need to let people know what to expect in terms of quality and entertainment. Exactly, because as we mentioned, you know, um, Chaz and Marty from uh, Pair of Dice, Pair Dice, and Rolling Dice and Taking Names are going to be the hosts here for you instead of the usual Tom and crew. So we just right off the bat, we think it's fair that we want to set the expectations where the, the usual level of Dice Tower live stream may be like way up here. Okay. Let's say that we're going to be... Let's right just... By, right yeah, by here. Yeah, that's yeah. our goal. So, that's our so, goal. Yeah, that's, if that's, if we're trying to achieve this. Yeah, that's a win if for me. If we can get... There? Oh. That's like high fives. That's uh -huh, all the way around. That's right. Yes. You know, I learned something about high fives. And let me just go ahead and say, uh, right where we are starting, uh -huh. we're, we're just kind of right underneath there. Yeah, we we're have, still, we we have still got a little ways to go. Yeah. We just want to introduce the live stream, get things up and running. We are going to talk about some games in just a minute. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanted to do a little quick sidebar. We're yes. waiting for some of our guests to arrive. I learned, I was taught um, at BGG Spring a few weeks ago, how to always pull off the perfect high five. I, I remember. Uh -huh. uh, being taught the same thing. Okay. I wonder if we were taught the same thing. Where we, so if we mix techniques, someone's losing an eye. All right. So we're going to do a high five uh -huh. with the technique that we learned. Yeah. Without telling see, each other. Without telling each other and okay. see if it works. So okay. we're, it's going this this hand to this hand, uh -huh. right? Okay, ready? ready? Yeah. Oh, -ho! oh! Here's the technique. Look at the elbow. Look at the elbow. That's yep. it. Yep. Yep. So hey, see, you might learn some things. See, you've already learned something today to pull off the perfect high five. Yep. When you when you go in for the high five, mm -hmm. don't look at the hand. No, because you'll look you'll, at the elbow. Look at the elbow. So when you win that next game of Hanabi or Settlers of Catan or what have you that you are playing, and you want to celebrate with a high five, that's how to celebrate the win every time. Speaking of Hanabi, which is based on fireworks, we yes. just want to wish everyone a wonderful July Fourth. Yes, it's July well, no, 4th today. It, it, but it's July 4th everywhere. But in the United oh. States... Oh, <laughs> yeah, the, it, you, yes, it's Independence Day. It's and, Independence and, Day. And, yes, it's July 4th worldwide. Our gift as Americans to the entire world is everyone gets a 4th of July. Congratulations, but yes. not everybody gets it off. But here no. in the United States, it's Independence Day, and so there'll be a lot of people here in these states that are going to be grilling and playing board games and shooting off fireworks. But my recommendation is to not shoot off fireworks near the board games because they are flammable. You know, that's not a problem in my house. Why so? Because I learned uh, several years ago, I'd say almost five years ago at this point, um, that my daughter does not like parades or fireworks. Uh, okay. So when she was about six years old, we took her down to the Independence Day uh, parade that's in town, followed by fireworks. And so we got, to, we got there early, got a good seat on the road for the parade and everything, and the parade starts. And people are cheering, people are marching, people are throwing out candy to kids in the street. And my daughter's like, when does the parade That's how they throw out the candy? Yeah, yeah, the candy only goes like two or three feet, you <laughs> okay. know, right, right in the gutter, you know. <laughs> so it was, it was sad, sad parade. And, and my daughter wasn't impressed by it either because the parade starts, and she tugs on my shirt, you know, because she's like six years old at the time. She says, When's the, when does the parade start? So this is it. This is a parade. She's like, I don't like parades. <laughs> and so that was like, okay, we can sell the shit with fireworks. So we go home, and I had got bought this big set of fireworks from Costco. And I brought it home. I'm setting off fireworks in our driveway for her. And because every kid likes fireworks, right? Uh, I would assume so. I got a third of the way through the pack of fireworks. And she's like, I don't like this. <laughs> and she goes in the house. And like, you know, later on talking to her, she's like, I don't like fireworks either. And to this day, uh, six years later or so, I still have two, that final two thirds of that case of fireworks from Costco that every year I ask her, do you want to set off the rest of the fireworks? It's like, no, I don't like fireworks. So fireworks around board games at our house, not a problem. So I don't understand. See, 
you've never taken her back to another parade or shot any more fireworks. I mean, I mean, kids change. That's they, they they go through changes. That uh, for example, uh, my kids growing up, like one of them only ate chicken nuggets. Okay, I can it was infuriating. That. Every time that we did something, it was always chicken nuggets. Oh, my daughter's still at that point. Yeah, yeah. he didn't even like pizza. What? He didn't like hamburger. What? It was just chicken nuggets. So. From 12 to 13, he was all he ate. But finally, we said, look, try pizza, try pizza, try a hamburger. Now he loves hamburger and pizza. So, hmm. Kids should you change. not be, like, you know, taking her to maybe a Christmas parade? You know, something a little bit lighter. Or, or maybe maybe instead of a July 4th fireworks, maybe it's a New Year's Eve fireworks, where there aren't as many fireworks, because kids can change. That, that, that's definitely that's definitely something, something to think about. I, I appreciate that. You know, speaking of change, I think that we should change the subject back to what to expect for the rest of today's uh, programming. Okay. That was smooth. <laughs> Again, when you have oh. to announce the segue, <laughs> that's far right down there. Yeah. So, what can we expect today? So, um, today is split into, I believe, about four different chunks. Right. And uh, the intro, just kind of getting warmed up. We're working some of the AV kinks out behind the scenes that you can't see. Uh, we have other guests kind of getting ready to be come on in a, in a few minutes. Uh, but So, we're kind of just doing the introduction to make sure that all the bugs are worked out of the system. Then, um, at... 1, 1 1.30? Can, can you tell me? Yes, at 1.30, which what? I've already gone through this schedule once, but I'll be glad to do it again. Excellent. Good. Uh, you know, 1.30, Yellow Games are coming on. Yes, Yellow Games, and the, we're going to be joined by Yellow Games. And then uh, with each of these segments, we're going to do something special at the end. Yes. So at the, uh, after he, uh, whoever comes and shows us the games, uh, we'll talk to them about the games they got coming out and uh, what they're going to be selling, maybe something maybe coming at Gen Con. Yes. Then afterwards, we're going to do a little, um, a little quiz. We're going to have some fun with them. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna that uh, actually you, the viewing audience on YouTube and on Twitch, can participate. Yep, yep. And then um, after him, uh, I believe later this afternoon around 3 p.m., James Hudson um, will be joining From, us. From uh, Druid City Games? Yeah. Yes. Now, now do you know, um, his, his position in the industry has recently changed, hasn't it? Uh, he, he was the founder of Druid City Games. Yes. Came up with Grim Forest. Correct. Uh, and several other things that have been very well received. And now, didn't he just establish a new partnership or something with another company? Yes, yes, he did. And I don't know all the details. And way to put uh, somebody on the spot without researching this. Yeah, that was totally ad-libbed and uh, totally unplanned. But uh, now, now I know how I feel with um, uh, my co-host Tony when I do this to him. <laughs> when I ask him a question, like some industry question on the uh, the show, and. And then he's like, uh, yeah, I wish you told me this before we started. Well, I was say, no, I, I, so anyway, so I do know he's moving to L.A., but uh, James Hudson is currently in uh, uh, from Alabama. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to have a special segment with him because me being from the South mm -hmm. and James being from the South, we're going to quiz you on Southern sayings. Now, great, because I'm from the Pacific Northwest. And, you know, so I, I just, like last year, learned what a hush puppy is. Uh, so again, go, so good. Going, going, going back to wishing we'd known this beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, now we're now we're even. Okay, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. And well, then, that'll be fun. And then at uh, four o'clock, we have Plan B Games. It's going to be coming on. Plan B, who had a big origin show. Oh my show. gosh, they were on fire there. And like they, they set off their fireworks right next to their booth. Speaking of fire. fire, right behind us is actually the hot game section, and oh, yeah. there are a few Plan B games back here. Yes, including Coimbra. Yes. Corimba. Wow. The elegant. Well, again, it's all, we're reviewing our next uh, episode of the podcast, so I was going out to YouTube. It was like, how do you pronounce C-O-I-M-B-R-A? Mm -hmm. And that's what the person said. Wow. If it's wrong, I'll blame you too. Well, uh, give my ears that sweet, salty treat again. Say, say it again. Coimbra. Co well, you've got the rolling R in there. Coimbra. Coimbra. Wow. Now, that's a city in Portugal. Uh, so that's on the table back here to play. A really cool version of the Azul Giant. Oh, now, my that word. was a big game from Plan B last year. Yeah. And the tiles are probably about that big. It's it, gorgeous. Now, that game, Azul, let's, let's talk about that just for a brief minute here. Uh, Azul continues to fascinate me because, um, you know, I've been doing a, a video series each month of, like, the top ten games that are on BGG's Hotness. Right. And Azul um, is the only abstract strategy game that has hung on to the Hotness for, like, six months in a row. And, you know, people just uh, keep talking about Azul. And um, again, you know, for an abstract game, it really surprises me. Now, this big version is 200% bigger it's than, crazy. Than, the, yeah, than the regular version. The, instead of paper mats, there's neoprene mats yes. for the player boards. Big, large mats. Yep. It comes 
in a portable to tote it on you. It comes in a suitcase. Yep. A literal suitcase for and this a thing. A nice suitcase with like a padded uh, outside to it and really sweet uh, inserts and compartments for storing the mats and all the tiles. I was expecting little like, you know, just uh, uh, plastic uh, vacuum molded little inserts for it. But no, these are nice little, cl almost cloth like, nice tailor made little mm -hmm. inserts. Well, really, really nice. It's admittedly, it's a $300 game. That it's a, it's a three, so but, I think it's on pre-order now, but yeah, it's, it's a very expensive game. Speaking of pre-order though, however, even at that price point, before they made the pre-order, they went on to the BGG forums and said, hey, we want to do this thing. Mm -hmm. In order to do it, we need to get at least 500 pre-orders in order to go into production. And they got them. So, I mean, even for being such a uh, luxurious um, game, and also at the luxurious price, luxurious gaming experience luxurious luxurious even perhaps <laughs> even being the the luxor of of, uh, of games luxor's here yes i'm so, serious i know queen games oh perfect segue that is if you say the segue you screw it up <laughs> no actually going back to uh plan b they actually got another game eastern wonders is also here yes that's right so anyway plan b is going to be coming in here the later this afternoon mm -hmm. and uh we got a little special something we're going to be doing with them where we're going to look be looking at famous people yes and, and what their job plan, what their plan, plan b's B were before they became, were and see if people can guess who we're talking about yep what their plan b's were before they became famous and that's right yes so so what we're going to do now is we are going to, uh, real, real quick, what we're going to do is uh, one thing that we didn't mention that we should, before we go to a little break to, in order to get the table set up for some of the guests we're going to have come on, is I wanted to mention just where we're at. Because I'm not in the Pacific Northwest. You're not in North Carolina. We're actually in Orlando, Florida at the Crib Royale, which now I'm saying it, I'm wondering maybe we did mention this, but I can't remember. But I just wanted to mention that this hotel is fantastic. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. It's got a wonderful facilities. It's got like three nice hotels. In the middle, there's a lagoon with a wonderful swimming pool and a fantastic place to hold a convention. It's big, it's spacious. Right beside us is a vendor hall. On the other side of that is the live events. And in fact, for the live events that will be happening at night, that's where you're going to see the rest of the Dice Tower folks. Like, yeah. for example, this morning they did the board game breakfast. Yes. A live board game breakfast where you saw many of the familiars that's on there. It's just uh, during the day from uh, 10 to 5, we're going to be on during this portion. Mm -hmm. And then at nights and other special times, they'll be doing the live shows from the other room. Exactly, exactly. It's nice. they got two rooms set up and everything. And the stage they have set up over there is Very fantastic. Nice. Yes. So, and um, what we want to do, too, is uh, we want to make sure that we just give a shout out to all the hard work that they're doing doing it as well. Exactly. So. so once again, before we go to break, don't forget the hashtag is hashtag DTCQA. Go ahead and start sending in those questions on Twitter. If you want to, you can just send them out there blindly. You can address them to us. I'm at Dyson Names. Chaz is I'm at Dice Paradise. And we will be looking through those and picking out some that we'll be looking at this afternoon or tomorrow. And with that, we got some special guests that we're going to be coming on. Many faces as you may know, some you may not know. So we'll be back yes. right after this short break. Welcome back. We are all set up and recombobulated with our next segment. Stop. Yes. Recombobulated? Recombobulated. Re word? Yeah. Discombobulated is. So why can't it be recombobulated? Oh, okay. oh, to me. And we're back to being discombobulated. <laughs> yeah. So our next segment is going to be Calvacade of Content Creators. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was impressive. That was not in the show notes. Recombobulated. <laughs> Tell you. So we're up to this point. Right? Oh, hey. so we just a little bit over the, yeah. over the bar. So, so Marty and I, of course, are, are fortunate enough to be um, able to host a live stream, but we're not the only content creators who are here at Dice Tower Con. So we tracked down a bunch of our buddies uh, from YouTube, podcasts, and what have you, and they're going to join us. We're going to do just one to two minutes each uh, little segment. We have about, oh, I said a dozen people to get through within the next half hour so we're going to um, just talk to them see how they're doing and have them talk about whatever they want starting with Alex it's so, me it's you you're back <laughs> I'm actually kind of uh, I don't want to talk during this segment because like Alex is a professional TV broadcaster and he's like he should be in these seats oh, that's not ex professional TV yeah broadcaster. but still he has the experience so, I mean he's used to these live sort of things wow. Chaz yeah Can you give us you make, who's gonna make us look bad <laughs> Glad we had him first. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, exactly. So you may know Alex from Dukes of Dice. Yes. And well, and also Great Fox Games now. That's right. So yeah. okay, bring us just real quick, bring us through your personal journey from Dukes of Dice in through Great Fox Games. How how have you been doing it, and what have you been doing through that whole experience? 
Okay, I got two minutes for this? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of Talk fast, buddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, oddly enough, the journey kind of started off here. This was my first ever convention four years ago. Oh, th- really? Dice Tower Con, first, first ever convention oh. I was at. And I was here with my buddy Sean, who I co-host the show with, yep. Dice Dice Podcast. Yep. We've been doing it ever since, creeping up on four years now. Wow. Dice Tower affiliated for about three of those. And our fav- my favorite con. Even now being in the industry, my favorite con far and away. Yeah, it's it's so it's so relaxed and laid back. It's just a like a big game day is really what it's like. It's really the atmosphere yeah. here. It's all about play. And it's so many people you know and, and so many people you cherish and have, have gotten to really love in this hobby. All, all in one place. So so in being here you kind of feel like you've come full circle yeah, in a way? For huh. sure. That's so neat. Yeah. So, no, and also, uh, well, another thing, too, you, you kind of fit this mold that even myself and so many others seem to work. A content creator becomes more involved in the industry by working with a publisher. So, what is it you're doing with Great Fox Games? So, I have the title of Chief Noisemaker. <laughs> Which I, I do I love up. game publisher titles. Yes. Uh, Restorations yeah. has some good ones too. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Sue's uh, Sue's master of fireworks over there, yeah. which is yeah. kind of where I stole the idea from. Maybe, uh, but basically, head marketing guy uh, helping help work at conventions. So we're working in a booth not too far away from here. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to be running back to there very pretty soon after this. And, nice crew. Yeah, that's the gist of things. Running the website and making sure people know about our stuff. That's awesome. That's yeah. so. It's always so neat to see someone who does such a great job, you know, in the uh, media making community, doing a great job in the industry as well. So awesome. Thanks, Chaz. So, yeah. Yeah. So, awesome. Yes. Enjoy, guys. Have a great time. Head back to the vendor hall, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to jump games. Do a roll. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to judge people as they dismount from okay. the stage. Go yeah, for right. it. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he uh, leaped. He 7.8. Wow. The only 7. bad thing 8. about that is that the camera didn't catch that at all. <laughs> so, next we have Dave here. Yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. Hi. Dave's already been on the stream today, right? Oh, crap. But, hey, yes, thanks for joining us. Come on. <laughs> I got a song prepared. <laughs> no, it's no, we've already, no, we're done. Uh, no, hi. No singing. Hi. How's it going, Dave? Oh, good uh, to very, see very you. good. Yes. Nice so, to see you. Yes, so for those maybe tuning in for the stream who aren't as used to the rest of the uh, Dice Tower cornucopia of content. Look, wow. I'm a yes. dice guy. You're a dice guy, yes. I'm, I'm real. It's yes. Dave Luza. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, in addition to uh, board game breakfast and whatnot, uh, what other stuff do you have floating around out there that you do. I've got this amazing. If you see it, you don't believe what I did. I made. Puppets. I saw it. Have you seen the? I puppets? don't believe it. The the, the the pandemic legacy puppet. Yes, but I don't believe it. He said, "If I see it, I don't believe yeah, it." That's true. Yeah. We're back down. Yeah. Here. <laughs> okay, we're trying to raise the bar, and I just lowered it. My I bad. have made a. Uh, I've been playing pandemic legacy, streaming it on on Wednesdays. It's all fine. It's all fun on YouTube. But every episode bring something to the next episode and I had I made puppets for real I've got them at home and <laughs> I can make their mouths move and uh, with faces of people you all know I've got Mandy I've got uh, the, the brothers Murph are in it and uh, uh, Christina Marito from the girls game shelf and and I send them a script they they give me their audio files I put that together in this huge uh, uh, yeah I make make an audio track and then have the puppets move to that and, 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 and have stories and have stuff of what happened in the last episode of Pandemic Legacy. That's cool. <sighs> that seems so ambitious. Yes. For the project. And like no, one, yeah. no one saw it. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it, it has been a lot of. I've, I'm finished, done, uh, done with the puppets videos. Now they're on YouTube. Check them out. It's all three minutes for each episode. And how do you find and, it? Um, what, what YouTube channel is it? Uh, the Happy Loser. The YouTube Happy Loser. Just search for the Happy, happy Loser. loser. And, yeah. and that's L U Z A. L U Z A. Oh, it's right there on your shirt too. It's right here as well. Yep. Boom. So Ta-ta. that's. I'm sure that's coming through perfectly on the bot live stream. <laughs> But that's not the only thing I do. I mean, I'm in, in, into the, the podcast, board gaming panel show, This Game is Broken. Yes, mm-hmm. and, I, and I see a uh, member of the Brothers Murph is next in line as well. Yes. So I'll probably pick his brain uh, about that. But um, yeah. I just want to say that that podcast, I am so jealous of the content you guys put out with that. It is fantastic and different and and I can't wait to find a way to weasel my way back onto the episode. <laughs> well, that will not be a problem for you. I mean, what, what we try to do, and what, the, everything that I do, I don't do reviews. I don't do uh, um, tell you what to buy or what to do. I, I tell what I like, but I want to make it entertaining. So mm-hmm. I make puppet videos. I make songs about uh, about board games just for you to be entertained for three minutes and then move on to the next thing. That's yeah. great. I mean, yeah. it's, it's always good to be different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of moving on to the next thing, we are at that time that we need to do that. So I'm going to thank you for coming by. Thank you so much for and, having and, me. And let's, we're going to judge your dismount as you get off the stage. Oh, crap. <laughs> 
What? Oh, oh wow. Wow. bravo. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun nine. until someone gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come up next. I'm not jumping on the stage. I'm not jumping on or on. Oh, yeah. you will be jumping off the stage because we've got to be judged on dismounts. Well, hey, okay. You can have a careful, cautious dismount. And you can, Do I right. go right for the backflip, though? Oh, oh boy. It's you, only Wednesday. Listen to your heart. That's really what's important. Okay, and with us, we have Mike Murphy. Yes, yeah, so one half Murphy. of the brothers. Is the other half here? He's playing a game. He's trying to stop Hitler. Well, my, well no, okay. that's good. That's no, we'll choose him for that. Bother. Okay, that's good. Well, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, we can use your time to talk about him. To, you know, whatever, anything you want to get off your chest about 28 him? 28 or... years of stealing my jokes, <laughs> yeah. stealing my bits, yeah. all this and that. I just want to say anything he's just like, you guys sound alike. I'm like, well, who developed the, the persona? <laughs> this guy. He there bombed on everything I have. <laughs> and he, he should have. Finally, we've set the record straight. <laughs> oh. But how have you been? I've been awesome. This has been so fun. I feel like we're like four days in because last night everyone's playing games. Like, this has been a great convention. That I was like, the convention hasn't even begun, which is super nice. Is this your first one? First Ice Tower Con. First yeah. Ice Tower Con. Speaking of firsts, now uh, we were just talking to, to Dave about, you know, this game is broken. Yes. Is this the first time that all you guys have been together in one geographic area? Yes. Wow. Yeah, all the Europeans are like, you know, well met and everything, but this is the first time the five of us got together so on Tuesday or on Monday there's four of us mm -hmm. see what are you doing? He, knows. Oh, he said you were you, doing? you were stopping you, Hitler what, shouldn't you just go yeah. stop Hitler why am I not invited to this time's a ticket man wow. so he's the better one that's what we're getting at yeah okay cool that, that, that checks out all right that okay checks out. Uh, so on Monday we had four of us, and then Tuesday Matthew Jude came, so the, the powers have united and Captain Planet's coming and all that stuff. So that is so cool. Wow. And you totally nailed it with what you just said. <laughs> no. Comes in, does the weird thing, that was mine. I, just, I developed that. I was a weird guy. Now you're the not weird guy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, so, and again, uh, so which night is the This Game is Broken live show? Saturday night. Saturday night. 9 p.m., come on down. Everything that we do fun and stuff is, is even funner because we... It's going to be live, right? It's going to be uh, I, I, live stream. I think so. I hope so. So you should be able to find that on this channel along with uh, whether it be Twitch or YouTube. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a kazoo orchestra and a bunch of madness and surprises and... That's awesome. awesome. And if people want to follow you on YouTube or Twitter, where can they find the you? The Brothers Murph. The Brothers Murph and search around Team Bing Bong. We're Brothers Murph everywhere and Twitter and Facebook and uh, and YouTube for sure. Check out the channel. We have top 10 first eight games this week. That's cool. So we want to awesome. get people talking about it. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks Show us your by. dismount. Uh, <laughs> you may be cautious. That is fair. That is fair. <laughs> oh, you, uh, did you hear his leg snap? 2.3. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 clean entry, clean entry. All right. Okay, up next. Oh, my computer. Hello, computer. Woo. I want to keep that going. All hey, right, computer. All right. Let's have our next guest. Now we only have one chair. I'm sorry, but our next guest is a, our next guest is a duo. It'll work. It'll work. Okay. okay. You're gonna make, make this it work. make it work. Come on, right here. All right. And oh, I don't. Um, I don't okay. believe I. I know you two. I don't. Well, introduce yourself. Well, okay. Introduce uh, yourself to the plebeian. Okay. I'm Eric Baker. I'm Duncan okay. Hines. Okay. And, you know, we're from the the podcast Bordigami. 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 Eric. Bordigami. Yeah. Okay. So I don't. Okay. You, well, have okay. you ever? Let's just have you ever, um, Oh yeah. What, get, what episode are you guys on? We're on a close to episode seventy three, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Close so to share your premise. With, yeah. Seventy three. Seventy three. Okay. Yeah. Each three hours long. So okay. Um. So here's the thing. Okay. Have you ever got a board game before? Yes. And you know it's all wrapped up. You open it. You take the lid off, and you're looking through the contents. Yes. You know, it's usually some things to punch out, some little carts, mm -hmm. plastic. Yep. Bits and pieces. But the the main thing is the board. Board game. Yes. The board, board game. game. Yes. Yeah. The art of the board game being, like the game board, being folded, is a mystery to most people. Yeah, because okay, so, you, know, you got the, the six folds, the trifolds, the quad folds. Exactly. exactly. And I, exactly. I've almost ripped so many of my games. Well, it, it's, it's, and how long have you been around? For like it's 10 like, years. Yeah, a while. Yeah. 10 years, <laughs> you'll pull out like it, seven episodes a year? We, we are of the opinion here that it, the biggest problem facing the board gaming community today is improper game board folding. Like the companies, they don't know how to do we, it's, we, it's a component that are, goes over. So you, we are long past the golden age of the mid 2000s of board game folding. We, 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 that no one knows how to do it anymore. Like, you, you've taken the board games that you, you finished playing your game, right? And it's time to put it back in the box. How many times have you done this? I, I guess a, a lot. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. So Precisely. It's like a service almost, right? You know, yeah. that's how I see it. We're, we need to educate people on proper board game folding 
and point out certain games that have improper folding. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't think that so that there, topic... There's a three-hour podcast. Yeah, you, you, would, you, you wouldn't think that it could carry that, you, but you, you guys do such an eloquent you know job. This show? Thank this you know this show? The deep dives you do. Hey, you know, it's yeah. like we said in our last show on the merits of trifold versus bifold folding and the resurgence of bifold folding in particular. It's, it's such a, an easily redeemable issue but it, it, we just aren't seeing it. We aren't seeing it. Exactly. Yeah. So again, what, what's uh, what's your website address so people can find you at? Uh, it is mypodcast.bordagami. That's B O A R D A G A M I. Yeah. Bordagami. Yeah. And don't don't do double M at the end because that goes actually to a website for a Szechuan restaurant. So, so, so I saw you. You wearing like one of their T-shirts the other day. Is that what that was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the neat little foldy design, almost like a little trapdoor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty-five ninety-five in our uh, shop. You can get that at teespringcom slash Bordagami. Bordagami. There we go. So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. It's no great to finally put some voices, uh, the faces to the voices. I guess yeah. I'll, I guess I'll check it out. Okay. It's pretty great. Okay. So. Uh, well, let's show us your dismount. Who are you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> right. Awesome. All right, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, so, so, so what's your dismount? Yeah, they did this whole mini-series on Arcadia Quest boards. Yeah. Yeah, because the way you have to line them 1. up. 1.2. 1.2. <laughs> All right, let's come up here. Next, we have Mike Parkinson, who is always tooling away at something. Bring, bring your chair in here. So, Mike. Gentlemen. How have you been? I have been great. Um, what are we talking about? Like, yeah, last night, this morning. I was a little tired this morning. I was up till 1 o'clock playing games. Oh, yes, yes. Well, the very first thing, very first thing, I wanted to have you on because I wanted to give you back your wallet. Oh my gosh. Yes. Finally. I, yeah, it's it's empty, um, but it, you do have it back. Where did okay. you pull that from? Wow. Him. I pulled it from him uh, yes. at Origins. That was uh, Try going through TSA you're, without you're a wallet. You're pickpocketing? Uh, well, just <laughs> only Mike. Only Mike. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was, just, I don't know, it was weird, but I, yeah, I got home. You're listening to Board Game Folding Podcast, you're, you're pickpocketing people? It's like I don't even know you. Man, I got facets to my personality. I got layers, you know. So. Oh, you got layers. You don't know me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so wait, I see you brought something with you. Is this something that's one of your latest yeah, creations? What is this? this is my newest makeover. It's Blood Rage, but with the Simpsons called Donut Rage. I can't believe we took the theme of Blood Rage and applied it. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because you're able to take like the uh, uh, the Simpsons is almost like duct tape to you. You can apply it to anything yes. and make it stick. And, well, it's, it's funny, because I brought it on to Board Game Breakfast this morning and showed Tom. Uh-huh. And I showed him my map I made and how I got all kinds of these factions. I don't know if you can see all these little yeah. faction people from The Simpsons. I don't know if our overhead cam is working well, yet. Well, let me tell you what he did. Uh-huh. He took out this giant hammer, and he pounded it down and said no. <laughs> what? Well, oh, no. that was copy one of ten. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. I did have a lot of fun with this. Actually, this was more of a joke for the for the board game breakfast. So don't worry, he really didn't do that. He did do it, but not to me. It didn't hurt my feelings, so it was good. But I do like doing this kind of stuff. Yes. When you do a board game makeover, such, such this one as an example, how much time do you does it take to go into a board game makeover? It depends on what I need to do to the makeover itself. If there's cards involved, it's going to take more time. But if it's just a board and, and I can redo some of the pieces, make them bigger, smaller, and put magnets on them, whatever, it's pretty quick. Um, making poker chips isn't very hard either. So I'd say maybe uh, maybe maybe eight hours per makeover. So cards are actually, of all the components to reproduce, cards are the hardest one? Or most time consuming? Yes, if they're different. Okay. If they're the same, no, that's pretty easy. But if they're different, yeah, then I have more work to do. Okay. Well, you know, speaking of having more work to do, we have more guests okay. to do, so we gotta continue on. Okay. So, Thank hi. you very Thanks much. For coming on. Thank you very much. Yep. And just real <laughs> quick before you go, where's the best place online people can find you? Oh, the board game makeover on YouTube. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> board game maker. Uh, don't tell the police. Show us your dismount. Show us. Give us a good dismount now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let me. Just Yeah, yeah. 5.4. Uh, better, yeah. We're getting back, back uh, up. To well. this All right, next. All right, it's Mike. Hello, sir. Hello, it's been only a couple weeks since Origins. It has, it has. But, it's, but it's felt like it's, it's been too long. Thanks for coming on. It has been. It's a so, pleasure. Yes. So how have you been since Origins, and what have you been up to? 
Well, it, that's not a great story because I've been recovering from origins. I caught something. Oh. Um, I, I, I'm not saying it's from you, Chaz, okay, that, but that's fine. I, oh, yeah. the implication is clear <laughs> that I, I did spend a little bit of time with you and suddenly I started feeling a little bit odd, but I'm much better now. Oh, I always well, I feel odd after I spent some time <laughs> with him, too. So. Yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. And I, to I totally believe you that you're over it. Yes, so. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub down. Make sure you take care of all precautions. But yeah, no, it's been honestly, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, I came home from Origins, and the next day I, I moved. Wow. So yeah, that's that's always good. And then uh, this is my first Dice Tower Con, so I'm very oh, excited. Neat. Very, so, very excited. Uh, have, when did you get in? I got in yesterday, very early, 8.30ish. Okay, so you've got a chance to settle in, so you're not coming, good. so you're coming into the days of gaming fresh. That is absolutely correct, and awesome. you know, talk to me in a couple days, I'll be a pool of nothingness, I'm sure, but <laughs> yes. right now I'm still doing okay. That's good, that's good. Cool. Well, did you have any other questions for Mike at this point? Where can people find you? Well, you can find me at uh, solomodegames.com. Yes. I, I do uh, solo game playthroughs primarily. Yes. And uh, on Board Game Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I do some uh, some segments weekly there, and uh, every so often I come on as a guest with the This Game is Broken podcast. I know you had Dave up here just a moment ago, yep. and also the Murphs were yep. up here. So I, I crash their party every so often. Awesome. Awesome. All, All right. over the place. That's well, it. Speaking of crash, it's time yes. for your dismount. <laughs> Please try not to crash. <laughs> uh, can I do a backflip? Is that acceptable? Yes, that or? is acceptable. I want to see this. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. This will go viral. Do this, it. This is not going to happen. <laughs> okay. There's about? absolutely no way I'm going to be doing that. Man crushes self at convention. Uh, uh, how about we save the backflip for the last day? Oh, okay. okay. Like, I'm going to step gingerly backwards off of the stage. Okay, I, like that. I like that better. So here we like go. Okay, so... Can we have gingerly off? I know ginger. Can, can we have one live stream that doesn't end in a lawsuit? <laughs> That's all I ask. Nope. All right, next is Robert. Ta-da! In your dapper presentation here. Good to see you, Robert. And Welcome to the stream. You have the wrong moon pies. You wanted vanilla, didn't you? Banana. Bana no, see, that doesn't banana? make any sense. I like banana moon pies. Right. Ten seconds in the microwave is the only way to go. Well, I mean, I agree with the moon pie in the microwave. Uh, I mean, but banana? banana? You're the first person I ever met banana. that likes banana. I'm conflicted. Only acceptable. Yes. Are you? I am. I just don't know about the banana. I can see the vanilla. No. I can see that going. So it's typical no. chocolate. Bananas. No. Banana. Banana. And it looks like a moon. As opposed to this doesn't look like a moon. Yeah, it's crazy It looks talk. more like a sun. Wow, now I'm totally lost. <laughs> Let's try to get this back on track yes. by having Robert talk about it. Look, so thoughts. I've been yeah. down there for a while and I've been staring <laughs> at the moon pie. So that's Tell what us happened. about you. Oh, okay, that was great. <laughs> that was great. Hey. What have you been up to and producing content wise since Origins? Um, so, since Origins, I did a couple reviews on the channel. Did the how to play video for Combo Fighter. Oh, for nice. Colossal. Nice. Um, that's been my foray into doing animated how to play videos oh, cool. instead wow. of me being in them, completely working with digital assets and completely doing wow. them. How, that how way. did that change the amount of development time that was needed for the video? So, it's funny, it's actually faster. Really? I thought it would be the first time I did one. I did one, the first one I did for Omen for uh -huh. Colossal, and that one took me a while. But then once I realized, just treat it in Premiere like Tabletopia. Mm -hmm. So get everything set. I, I script out the 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 how to play. Okay. I record that first, bring that in, get that cleaned up, and then all I have to do is basically set up the table with the digital assets inside Premiere, and then it's just moving things around. Hmm. Actually, way faster. And you actually just set the keyframes and stuff, yep. and then wow. Actually, way faster. I can probably do a whole play, have it out in two hours now. No it's in, way. It's in, Wow. I, I did. I definitely did Combo Fighter it about two good. hours. It looks so. good. It's good. And it's different. It's and it's different. something it's different. different. That's it's being it. produced. Yep. That's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's, I like that. Keep that up. That's good. Yeah. yeah. yeah I wanted to, I, no one wants to look at this face. I do. Come on. <laughs> I'd rather look at that than that. Although, you know, at least unlike everyone else, I, I suited up for this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So. I know. Very now, nice. I know we were talking about that a little bit at Origins, a little bit of, well, look what I've what corner I've painted myself into. <laughs> right, so now I, I'm stuck with it. Yep. It's, a, it's a thing now. That's why I should go with cargo shorts. And, uh, exactly. I actually don't own a pair of shorts oh. and have never owned a pair of shorts. Wow. Isn't that well, crazy? And I live here in Florida. I was going to say, for crazy Floridian. <laughs> wow. Maybe you're just used, used to it. So, okay. So, Robert, where can people find you out on the interwebs as they're going around? Uh, well, obviously, Dice Tower. 
channel. That's it. Mostly I do do my blue player channel as well, um, but mostly I do that for Kickstarter how to plays. He said he said to do. All right. Yeah, on that note, that it's, time for us, it's time for us to continue on. Yeah. Let Marty reset, recalibrate. <laughs> Would you like Apparently. a moon pie? Which <laughs> only way out? I'm going to take it anyway. No, take it. Even though it's not banana. It's wrong flavor. I'm going to take it anyway. Enjoy it, Robert. I'll see I you guys later. We'll see you around. Later. All right. Let's continue on to our next guest, Danny and Derek. Hey, guys. Sorry, we have one chair right, for we'll two share. guests. Split the okay, chair. Split the chair. We can, we're just going to split one. it. <laughs> One tush on. It. How's it going, okay. gentlemen? Good, man. Good Hello. to see you. Thank you for Good having us. You. Yes, Appreciate I'm glad it. that we're able to share some time together before the stream gets going into yeah. the week. So, how have you guys been? We're doing very well. Yeah. Very awesome. excited to be here. Good. Yeah. Yes. Now, you, I saw you at Origins. Yes. Yes, but you weren't able to be there. I wasn't. I had to work, unfortunately. Yes. But you're able to be here. Yes. I'm, yes. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So, all weekend. What are you guys looking forward to uh, seeing here? Uh, there's. You, go, ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go no. ahead. <laughs> there's. Um, I saw an expansion for Reef. I didn't even know Already? there was yeah there was like really? a, it was like a mini fish expansion or oh, something. Oh wow! Okay. Didn't so know that. I need to check that out because we just yeah. played Reef and like it. We yeah. heard it. Another, another Plan B game. Yeah, yep. another yep. Plan B game. Yeah. So um, that's that's huge. And then we had a couple people talk about uh, Pride, the Lion game, the area control game. I've never heard of that. Heard of yeah, that. yeah, yeah, that's cool. yeah, yeah. But yeah. That's an interesting, you interesting game in. mode. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's so it's like an area, area control, control game. Lion. So if you have too many male lions yeah. next to each other, they'll fight, and then uh, you'll lose. Oh, oh yeah. so you got to kind of manage their. Yeah. their dis oh, that yeah. sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our friend Patricia's setting that up for us. So hopefully we'll yes. get it. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'll play it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, live stream. Let's go on a break. We're going to play. Yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, so um, now you guys, uh, one of the things that you produce is the series of the ABCs of, yeah. and that's mm. really neat because that's yes. introductory, kind of set the stage, mm. kind of broad overview of everything we still yes. getting some good info in it yeah because yeah. there's, there's a lot of great content where you know it's a play-by-play -play, but i feel like for for new um you know players like they would want to like to see like what what this game's about yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know i yeah. love the aesthetics of games so yeah so it's great to talk about just the basics give mm -hmm. them give them what it's about and then talk about what we like uh, yeah. to try to keep it short and sweet yeah try to because our goal is we're not really like hardcore like gamer gamers but we love the social aspect of things. We do. So yeah, being absolutely. able to pull those people, that's one of our main goals. It's mm -hmm. really cool. You guys do a really good job with it. And Thank the you. energy yeah. and just the, the, the you know just the, the level of enjoyment you can see in not only the games you're playing, but the enjoyment of producing the content, talking about it, yeah, yeah. It, it shows through. It's really engaging. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And um, speaking of people find you. Yes. Oh, so we're on YouTube. Yes. Danny and Derek do board games, so it's super easy. Our names plus board games. Plus yeah. board games, yeah. <laughs> We're also on Twitter and Instagram. We have a fun community. Yes, you do. Too. Always asking interesting questions and everything. Exactly. Like yeah. See what yeah. kind of questions you ask. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always fun to follow. Yeah. We like to put on the stories so people can kind of follow along. So we'll be Absolutely. trying to put our Instagram story of Dice Tower Con so people can nice. follow. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's always nice to see you guys. And it's nice thank to see you in person for here. the first yeah. time. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming along. And we will see you guys. And you can do a double dismount together. A double dismount. Oh, double dismount. <laughs> Do we have the paramedic no. on? on, on like, oh, here it goes. Let's, let's continue on to the next one. We are we are getting short on time here. All right. That's good. Oh, there's This is so cozy, you guys. Yeah, Except there's two of you. Two people, okay. one chair. We'll share. That's all right. Yeah, all right. But we uh, at Ant Lab uh, yes. Games. Yes. So um, and introduce. Uh, have you introduce yourself proper to the the to live the show. folks? Yes. Okay. Hello, folks. I'm Anthony. <laughs> and I'm Francis. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, we're from the YouTube channel Ant Lab Games. So, it's a um, game channel that features uh, long full playthroughs. That's kind of like what differentiates it's, us. It's funny when you think Ant Lab Games, you think, oh, you must be a publisher. Yeah, yes. I guess. Yeah. I first, but it's reviews. I first right. discovered your videos. Actually, I was um, posting them on social media for the publisher I was working with. Uh, right. Passport okay. series. You, you, you did some games, and when I first saw it, I, that's what I thought when I saw the title. Ant Lab Games. Oh, they must be like talking about design of something. Right. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh no, this it's, one. Why are they reviewing just other people's games? Enough. It's you know really, that we can do a lot of stuff. my first and last name. Oh, oh. A-N-T, no, mystery yeah. song. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I can ago. feel the closure walking <laughs> <over>. <laughs> It's a question we get a lot, but uh, yeah. the answer's not very exciting. Yeah. How long have you guys been uh, on YouTube? Uh, well, I, well you started. I started out as a solo channel yeah. uh, probably four years ago, I'd wow. say, maybe three yeah. or four years ago, and then Francis joined me about two years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you and longer two in years, the work. Yeah. And you're also yeah. currently on uh, Board Game Breakfast. Yeah, we so we are. started yeah. doing a short segment on Board Game Breakfast as mm -hmm. well, which is kind of neat because, we, like we said, we do full two-player playthroughs of some yeah. really heavy games, right. so we don't spend too much time on the channel talking about other things board gaming related. So. Mm -hmm 
gives us a little. It's a well, challenge. It's a challenge because it's yeah. only two minutes, and we're not short-winded by yeah, any. We means. usually film two-hour playthroughs <laughs> yeah. and do something in two minutes. Like we can't even have a conversation. <laughs> right. In two it's minutes. a totally different train of thought. Yeah, it will unreal. teach that those two-minute Morgan and breakfast segments will teach you how to be a good editor. Now. Exactly. Yes. It is, yeah. <laughs> and it's neat because we do get to talk about, we try to focus on other aspects of board gaming, mm -hmm. you know, so give everybody yeah, a little fun. taste of something. That's great. And where, people, where can people find you? Oh, okay. YouTube. YouTube. So, uh, Ant, 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 Lab Games? Ant Lab Games on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Not a publisher? Um, not a publisher. Not a publisher. Um, I want that yet. latest <laughs> Ant Lab game. What are you coming out with the Gen Con? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, one day we can have that. Yeah, that's what I said. So uh, we have uh, we have a website antlabgames.com where you can also it's kind of everything that you know that we have going on there. Um, I think well, we're on it. Twitter and Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. and Twitter, yeah. um, and our emails antlabgames yeah. at gmail.com. There you go. So it's Ant everywhere. And, uh, and on Etsy. Oh, so now we're on Etsy. Tabletop threads wow. yeah. on Etsy, and I started you, making some like. Uh, especially like shirts and things like that for really? women. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Oh, okay, so I'm interested. I'm going to show my wife that. Yeah. Things like That's that. cool. On so. Etsy. I'll have to go yeah. check that and out. And not just Ant Lab game themed shirts, but like board game themed shirts. Right. Yeah. So. yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so not, not just your own logo. Yeah, on yeah, exactly. Not right. just that. Promoting your own game. You, you also promote yeah. other yeah. 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 I want a shirt without publisher's logo. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for sharing your chair with us. And let's see. Let's check. We'll check out your dismount on the way out as we bring up the next guest. Excellent. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, did you hear the woo? Oh, we got, got a woo. Got woo. Extra points for the woo. All right. So here we have Jason Levine. Okay. I've officially just been told to kind of fill time here because Mandy and Suzanne disappeared. So I'm like filling time until they get back. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry about filling time. No, 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 no. Because I'm incredibly oh, lazy. Oh, because I see them coming back. So you can go ahead and get off the stage. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Jason. Wait, I love you, Jason. No, I love you, what Jason. What did we talk about earlier today? You, you told me I couldn't find this stage. Where are we? Which corner of the room are we in? Okay, literally, we had a five-minute conversation of trying to explain where the stage was in this huge room. Marty doesn't understand directions. Just say the front corner as you walk in where the raffle used to be. I, 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 this is my first time here. I didn't know where the raffle was. Now I understand why Tom gets upset. I'm... Sitting over here saying nothing. Jazz <laughs> yeah, is doing it the right way. <laughs> Jason, how have you been? What have you been doing, man? What have I been doing? Yes. We had a live board game breakfast, yeah. which yes. I think everyone saw. Mm -hmm. Then I've been just hanging out, meeting fans, meeting a greeting, having a good time. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm <laughs> kind of hungry right now. Oh my, you've had a busy morning. So, so, uh, what, oh. I know what he's saying, man. <laughs> it took me a second. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 here you go. <laughs> now my cravings are going to be <laughs> And do you like chocolate? Is chocolate okay? We were told by Robert he likes banana the best. So I didn't, I didn't even know there was a banana. I thought there was only one kind of A banana, of these. vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. How about that? Strawberry? Oh, and, uh, salted caramel. I think this is going very smoothly. <laughs> I'm learning more about these than I could ever imagine. I thought, I I thought there was only one kind of moon pie here. By the way, for those of you who don't like moon pies, Please stop watching because these are the most awesome things ever. <laughs> these are like the most awesome things ever. That's, um, that's a tactic we didn't uh, we didn't attempt. Challenge people to stop watching the live stream. That's, that's, and I'm that's gonna that's eat it live. <laughs> mm. so, so, well, I was gonna ask you what project you're working on next. So maybe, maybe maybe swallow that bite and then tell us what project you're working on next, and then I'll let you go finish it in peace. So, two things that I'm working on. Yes. I brought all the unlocks, all the new ones, which even Tom hasn't played I love yet. You, Jason They're so shrink. And I have some fans here too. Your parents are here, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I have all the unlocks. I have. All, I haven't played five of them yet. I haven't played the submarine, okay. the haunted house, plus the three new ones, including the Wizard of Oz. So I have those. I'm going to walk around and just pick random people to play with me. That's kind of my mission today: to play nice. a bunch of unlocks with people, yeah. try to get as many fans to play as possible. And then tomorrow night we have the biggest thing ever that I've that I've been working on for. Months and months. Which is? The Dice Tower Awards. Ooh. Did you vote? Yes, I did. I know, because yes, I got I, it. I did. <laughs> but, but I was also one of those that, hey, these several people that I'm contacting, you haven't voted yet, I was on that list. I, I got my vote in late, but I did vote. Speaking of late, we are running behind a little bit on our time slot we have, so I want to make sure that the crew can actually get their lunch break. So let's continue on to the next guests we have. I got moon pies for them. <laughs> I should just throw some yeah, over there. Are you guys hungry? Here, yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll let you go give that to them off, off stage. Well, it looks like Mandy's just got back, so yes. yeah. I think that 
I filled enough time here. Yes, you always, have. Yes, always a pleasure. So let's see you dismount. Can I do a backflip off this? Yes! No! Yes! Please! <laughs> Don't hurt yourself! Jason's gonna do it. No! No! <laughs> no! Cartwheel! No! Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Jason, choose life! Just choose What's life! What's really sad is as soon as I fall off this, no one will see me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. No one sees the dismount. So. Alright, next we have Eric Summerer. Hi! How's it going? Hooray! I thought he said Mandy and Suzanne were coming up. That's not Mandy or Suzanne. I could leave. <laughs> okay, thanks no, for having me. No, I'm just, Jason misled me. Well, I've got my back to everybody, I, so I don't want to turn around and see who's coming, so he just kind of misled me. I actually cut me. in front of Mandy and Suzanne. Oh, so you're being rude. They, they said, we want to be last, we want to be the finale. Oh, okay, that's, and, that's a And so they let me go in front of them. Hi, how's so, it going? So, so who are you and what exactly do you do here? Oh, my name's Eric Summerer. I, um, I, I, I'm sort of the voice guy for the Dice Tower. I'm a co-host of the podcast. Uh, Not following. Uh, so, it, like, if you, watch, if you watch the videos for the Dice Tower, I'm the guy that goes, it's time for another <laughs> Dice Tower <laughs> review. Oh, 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 it's freaking oh, me out. Oh, it's freaking me out. Have you ever thought about doing ASML? I, <laughs> right. Okay, who wants to I have could Eric just whisper do for you every day. I could say, this is how we play the game. You lay out the pieces. And you must lay them out very carefully and sort them properly. Yes, I, I think that would be if fun. If you to do. want 25 minutes of those, one segment a week, I think you need to let us know in the comments <laughs> or hit up Eric, Eric at Eric Summerer on I, Twitter. I smell Kickstarter. Uh, ASL. <laughs> <laughs> Eric does. You gotta buy the special uh, microphone and everything yes, for it. Yes. <laughs> you can like open up little bits. Of, like, yes, meatballs. I can crinkle, <laughs> crinkle the bags and lay them out. Yes, that would be fun. I should. That, we should probably do you that just do for that. the heck of that it. That would anyway. be hilarious. And next time Tom asks for a video, that's what I'm going to give him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I actually owe him a video review for Megaland for the new uh, Red Raven game. Yes. I should just do it like that. <laughs> that uh, would be good. Brian would, would love that. Yes, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he would. <laughs> that would be good. I, I, you've given me a great idea. Ta -da! Oh Ta -da! Ideas abound here at Dice Tower Con. The bar moved up just a tad. <laughs> uh, speaking of bound, uh, it's time. I'm afraid we have to ask you to bound off the stage because we need to continue moving does on. Does everyone have to jump off the stage no, like Levine? No just, one. No, yes, fine. No one. no one. Fine. fine. Your please, favorite dismount. Please don't. Bye, Bye Eric. Oh, oh wow. held the nose feet first. Oh, that, that was painful. Okay, next up, we have, we're going to be joined by Mandy. It looks like we have about, uh, just a couple of people left here. The always effervescent, always fun to talk to. Effervescent. Mandy. Have you ever been called yeah. effervescent? I haven't, but, you know, there's always Whoa. a Whoa, yeah. what does effervescent mean? <laughs> it means prepared with fan. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty quick. I like that. Exactly. It's very specific. And how are you doing, Miss Mandy? I'm so good. How are you two? Oh, we're doing just great. Did you know in the South that you always uh, uh, usually address women that way? You say Miss in their first name. Really? I oh, heard that, Miss Mandy. Oh, I did not okay. know. I did not know the nomenclature behind it. I didn't either. Actually, I hear it a lot in movies. You know, you mm -hmm. hear it, and I'm like, oh, it just sounds so fun and fantastic. But I didn't know that was actually yeah, every, a thing. Everybody calls like my wife. They go Miss Vanessa. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Yeah. I had no idea so many movies were filmed in the South because. <laughs> They always say it's like a movie. Gone with the Wind sort of thing. I know. Yeah, I like that. So, frankly, my dear, okay. how how we, we went off the rails. So I know. Far. I'm sorry. It's me. It was the fan. It was the fan. The fan threw me off. Oh, oh, God. God. Uh, so, how have you been since Origins? Oh my goodness! Uh, I didn't get to play any games at Origins, so I'm like, no, we need to play games here. <laughs> nice. And yes. what are you looking forward to play here? Oh, oh my goodness! I want to teach Coimbra. I love it so much. Oh. I actually want to teach Wait, it. How do, you, how do you say it? Coimbra. Hmm. How do Maybe you? Oh, it's a pronunciation you so learned. So we're getting ready to review this on our next episode. Okay. So I went to YouTube. Okay. I pronounce it, and they said Coimbra. Sure. Now I'm part. <laughs> sure. I don't know. No, that, no, may, no. that may be wrong. So that may be wrong. I'm part I Portuguese, know. and yes, when you're saying it as someone from Portugal, yes, the pronunciation is going to be different. But ah, it's like that's what it is. I give people the example Montreal. So people, when they come to Canada, they're like, oh yeah, I've been to Montreal. It's actually Montreal. Oh, really? But in oh. French, Montreal. In English, Montreal. So huh. I think it's that kind See, of thing. See, I've learned. <laughs> See, now I have to re-record my whole episode. It just it goes to prove my point. You can't win. 
<laughs> See? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so anyway, so you want to play that game? Have you played that game? I have. I played several times. I'm going to teach it. And Thunderstone Quest is one I'd like to oh. play. Oh, I have played the new <gasps> version. It's amaze balls. If you if you I'm, if you like the first one, this one excels on it way more because now ah. there's a whole theme. Okay. There's the dungeons different. You can go on different levels of the dungeon now. Oh, it fantastic. is so good. The box arrived at my house. A very large heavy box. box. Yes. So I'm like, I need to play this. So I'm like, if somebody's here and wants to teach me. Yes. <laughs> if anybody's watching the stream later here and wants exactly. to teach, there we go. It's actually, but it's still a very easy game to pick up. Okay. So you can learn the rules real quick. Oh, they, 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 it's just it's pretty much the same rules, except when you go in the dungeon now, you, there's different levels of the dungeon you have to work down towards. Right. And then you can come out of the dungeon anytime. Okay. Speaking of working down towards, <laughs> we need to continue working down towards the end of the line. Okay. 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 But first, just, you know, of course, on the Dice Tower podcast and thing, but is there any other project or anything else you're working on that people can find you at? Oh my goodness, I think right now, well, okay, Suzanne and I have some ideas and some things coming out, so stay tuned. Nice. On the podcast. Well, on podcast the and potentially some video. Oh, Ooh. which you would find on the Dice Tower YouTube channel. On the channel. Dice Tower YouTube channel, yes, and of course, I mean, that's where you find all of our stuff, so yep. <laughs> that would be the best place. Cool, awesome. Well, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, I'm sweaty. Oh. I'm doing <laughs> okay, we'll do one. Yes. There we go. <laughs> it's not very ladylike. Thank you. How, oh, we'll see how your ladylike dismount is. Oh. oh. Feel, feel free to just gently walk off. Don't feel the pressure. No, we want the backflip. The backflip's oh. coming somewhere. Wait, wait. Oh, I'll oh, say there you go. There. Style points. There 9. Style points. You there. win. There. You win. <clears throat> I was going to say, you know, you, we, we're just going to keep doing the dismounts until someone fractures something. <laughs> And here we have Suzanne Sheldon. Hello, Suzanne. Favorite Welcome. people. How are you doing, Miss Suzanne? Hello. Hello. See, hello. From Handshakes. How official. Miss Suzanne. Now, I have a question for you before we Oh, boy. Start. Questions. Yes. yes. And my question goes to Suzanne. So I apologize. Oh, boy. Due, due to the necessity of the timeline we're on. This yes. It's not something I've even discussed with Marty yet, though. Uh-oh. But since we are 10 minutes behind um, the scheduled slot, uh, we could do the, 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 our little banter, but um, did you want to, if Suzanne is available to come back at the end of the day, did you want to try um, continuing where we leave off with Would her? you be willing to come back at the end of the day, 4.30-ish? Would you mind checking your schedule? This is exciting streaming right this here. Is like, this is like, she's like, on her phone. Yes. It's like, so, so you can come back at 4.30. Yes. We would love for you to come back and close out the day with us. In fact, maybe we'll have some questions at, if you use the hashtag, DTCQA. Maybe you can sit in with us and answer some questions that we're going to have. Uh, I would love, I love questions. Questions are my favorite. Really? Yes. I like That's, the answers. It, being inquisitive is a beautiful characteristic of a human being. I just enjoy being I like confused. <laughs> Oh, that's a beautiful. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing too. <laughs> Thank you. No, but yeah, that would be great. So, no problem. Good. Pressure's off there. That's the pressure valve. Chaz's pressure valve. That's my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Again, derail right away. So, okay. In the meantime. Yes. What have you been working on since Origins? Is there any like special projects or anything um, that you're working on that are coming up that people can get interested in about? I, I don't know if they'd be interested per se, but I am working on my top 50 board game apps list. So oh, that's really good. I'm I'm really that's excited. Good. I've got it took me a little time to make the list, yeah. and I've gotten some intros and outros recorded. Now I just have to sit down and take a lot of screenshots. Oh, I bet a lot of screenshots capture a lot of film. But I'm really excited to do that. It's been a long time time coming. And the problem with doing the top 50 apps is that the list changes more frequently, I think, than a physical game. List oh, interesting. Because so many apps, like just last week, Istanbul released. Yes. Now that's one of my favorite physical board games, and bam, now, the microphone, uh, now there's like an app version of it, so I've been playing that on a plane to see, oh gosh, do I have to jigger my list mm -hmm. around for this brand new app? So uh, huh. that's, I've been working on that. Now, do updates to the apps that come out periodically affect their position on a list like that? Very rarely. So okay. there would have to be a massive feature change, like a missing online feature or something that allows cross-platform play that wasn't there okay. to really elevate it. But mostly, since I, I think most of my assessment is based on the sol solitaire game experience, on the, it's pretty rare that I think there's a big enough upgrade. Um, although things like Seven Wonders is a good example. Uh, they released without online play, and they released without expansions, and they've been rolling those out post-launch. Mm -hmm. So those are that's so it's not 
not out of the picture. Huh, interesting. And, and what kills me is you have a very tempting Twitter feed. If you follow her at 425 Suzanne, she'll pull out these sales. It's like, oh, look, here's this app on sale, this app on sale, this, and like with the uh, Steam Summer Sale, which is a big thing every year. Yep. Everybody else starts putting their stuff on sale also. So you're like busy going, oh, this is on sale. It's like, crap, buy that, crap, buy that, buy <laughs> yep. that. So it's like the same Steam sort of thing. I buy stuff on Steam, never play it. Oh. I went to buy a Steam game the other day and it said, you already, already purchased had it. this. You already <laughs> bought it, yeah. I've done that too. Yeah, the Steam sale is so, a killer. So the app thing's the same way. Absolutely. But, but it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, Twitter uh, great Twitter handle to follow if you want to keep up with the with the app sure. because you do put out this new game just came out here's yep. the price of it you do all that cool stuff yeah and I link to it and try to make it as easy as possible for people to discover board game apps that they might love um, and I always hashtag them too with app sales so if you don't want to follow me because I tweet a lot oh, you can always app, just search app. yeah you can unfollow me I would never do Woo! that you can I would unfollow never me unfollow and you can you. just search for that hashtag app sale and um, and make it easy on you so there you go Okay, that is awesome. And then we're going to be looking forward to the top 50 apps. Hopefully. Based on Suzanne. That's a, is that the first time you put together a list like that? I've done my top 50 board games as well. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yep. But the apps specifically. Yep. Well, that's going to be really neat to see. Thank well, you. then I got an idea. Why don't you just stay here with us as we close out this stream? And uh, uh, you can close this. Oh, is there okay. another guest? Well, there is Derek. I don't know if Derek is waiting for someone else or if Derek, because Derek was in line, but I don't know if. So I, I was going to let Derek close mm -hmm. out with us. I'm getting the signal. To forget Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I love you, man, but we're moving on. <laughs> so anyway, we will be back in actually 15 minutes to talk with uh, Yellow Games. Mm. Oh, yes. It's a, it's <laughs> a half hour. It's a half yes. hour. Okay, yeah, so we'll be back in 15 minutes. Well, at at 1 th 1.30 uh, Eastern Time. Again, don't forget, use the hashtag uh, DTC. I got to look at the screen. QA, just to ask some questions. We'll pick some questions. Suzanne will join us back at 4.30. And we'll continue to talk some more and maybe answer some of those questions. I look forward to it. Awesome. All Excellent right. job, gentlemen. Thank you, and we'll see you again in about 15 to 20 minutes or so. Yes. Stay tuned.